I've never seen a fortress like that. It's incredible. Sometimes I'm amazed at the things that human beings can do. Think how long it took to build. Oh. <sighs> Just hauling the rock and putting it into place. Look at that. Must have taken superhuman effort. What a monumental task. Look, there's Huascar. So what do you think of the fortress of Sacsayhuaman? I think it's absolutely magnificent. It wasn't built just for defense, but for the greater glory of the Inca Empire. Amazing. Breathtaking. Oh, we appreciate Amazing. you giving us such a great guided tour. It's only natural among friends. Let's go. At dawn, we leave for Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu? Yes, that's where the great gathering will be held. Cusco's nothing compared to Machu Picchu. surrounded by high mountains. Tell me about it. All we seem to do is climb. Hey, what's that? Look down there. Oh, what are they? Oh. Looks to me like a herd of deer or something. I don't know what deer are, but those are vicunas. We are approaching a very sacred place. The road stops here in order to keep the way to Machu Picchu a secret. So only those who know the secret can get there. You're exhausted. Don't worry, we're almost there. I told you it was surrounded by mountains. They act as a wall, protecting the city of Machu Picchu, which lies on the valley floor. The Conqueror, Child of the Sun! Those must be the Sun Virgins back there, kneeling behind Huayna Capac. Welcome, Pocahontas. Today we welcome a visitor from far away. She brings us a message from Viracocha. <laughs> Let us give our full attention to what Pocahontas has to say. We all know the dark omens we have heard for many years. We hope the message she brings will give us the strength to defend the future of our empire. And now, Princess Pocahontas, please speak to us before Wina Capac, child of the sun, whom we worship as God on Earth. Pocahontas, we're listening. Go ahead, please. My friend. 
friends, you must prepare yourselves. Heed the omens. They tell of cataclysmic changes to come. Viracocha will be overthrown by our enemies. They will come and impose their alien ways. You will no longer hear the sound of your children's laughter. <laughs> there is only one way to avoid this catastrophe. You must cast aside your differences and join together your forces to defend your land and all it yields. Remember that life is a sacred circle. Whatever you sow today, you will reap tomorrow. You have built a great empire. Are you ready to see it vanish one day? It could, if you do not preserve the unity you have only just achieved. Princess, let me assure you that your wise words will always inspire us. I'm very grateful to you, Wayna Kapak. Who is that young man standing next to your father? Atahualpa, my half-brother. He's a great warrior who governs the northern part of the Inca Empire. My father needs to know that he has men like him and me that he can count on. One day, I'll have the same responsibilities. Does that mean you'll become Sapa Inca when your father dies? That's right, I will. Is that because you're the oldest? No, Atahualpa is three years older than I am. So why will you succeed your father? When the Sapa Inca dies, the council decides on his successor. They must choose the most capable of the sons. That is the law. It's getting dark. This looks like a good place for us to camp. You're right, Pocahontas. But keep on your guard. This is Chimu land. so worried about the Chimu? Because a long time ago, they were a very rich and powerful tribe, but they were also our enemies. We went to war against them. Led by my grandfather, Topo Yupanqui. Once they were defeated, they became our subjects. Has the Inca Empire conquered all the peoples around here? Almost all of them are in the Empire now. But there are still a few our armies haven't defeated, like the Hivaros, who live in the Amazon rainforest. The road we'll be taking along the coast runs very close to their territory. We must be careful. They're a very cruel people. They cut off the heads of their enemies and somehow manage to shrink them to the size of a fist. They're oh. constantly attacking us. I try to keep out of their way. What's the matter? Why is it whining like that? You think maybe it's homesick for its mother? Why should it? Mock's its mother. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
All this walking through the forest has made me hungry. What do you say we stop and pick some fruit? What do you think, Mock? I bet Mock would rather catch a nice, juicy rabbit. Eating fruit all the time can get pretty boring when you're not a vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> Mock, I'll catch you a rabbit so you can do the rabbit dance Princess, you us. and the others go on ahead. I'm gonna find us some meat. Thank you, but... It'll only slow us down anyway. It's too dangerous. Don't worry. You go on ahead. I know this part of the forest well. Galmanchumo, guide them safely to the edge of the forest. I'll catch up with you. Don't worry. Waskar is a very smart young man. He'll be fine. I know this is Hivaro territory, but... are on our trail. They must be trying to ambush us. We'll show them. <laughs> well, they're not using curari on their spears. They're Hivaros, all right, and they're hunting us. Oh. There's something strange here. Looks like they're trying to trap us. Let them think we've fallen into their trap. We'll walk toward them and then split up to attack them. trap now. <laughs> Waskar, are you okay? Is everything all right? I'm safe and sound, thanks to your brave friends. Look at that one. He still wants to fight. They hate us, the savages. We should kill them. But why? No, let him serve as a lesson. Hear that? Princess Pocahontas thinks we should spare you. Let's just leave them there to cool their heels. That's what I say. <laughs> All right. This interruption has delayed us long enough. We have to keep moving. Are you ready, Princess? Paramonga, a city overlooking the sea. I sent a courier ahead to prepare everything for your departure. Are you ready, Princess? All right.
The world will never forget us. Thanks to our descendants, our memory will never die. You have taught us the many wonders of your Inca world. Will you forget us? Of course not. And if the dark omens come true? Maybe your coach will protect you. The Great Spirit is watching. Do you think much has changed Do since we started we'll our journey? Get back? I still don't understand how we traveled back in time a hundred years. Everything will be just as we left it when we get back, including the Pale Faces. And our horses on the beach. Will they still be there? It's you. Ah. Oh, I found you again. Oh. Ah. <laughs> ah. Hey, take it easy, Appaloosa. You'll make me fall off. Come on, my friends. There's still plenty of tribes waiting to hear our message. Come on, everyone. Let's get moving. We welcome you and your friends, Pocahontas. You accomplished your mission admirably. Throughout your journey, you never wavered in your respect for the circle of life and the teachings of the Great Spirit. 
Our people will need the hope we brought them to face the darkness to come. You and your friends will remain with them throughout their ordeal, in victory and defeat, even when they are prisoners exiled in an arid wasteland. You will become Kashina spirits and watch over the survival of our people in the centuries ahead. We hereby proclaim you guardians of our sacred nation. And you will be helped in this task by all Kashina spirits. Hey! Oh, hey! and illuminate your path. The survival of the Earth passes into your hands. Before you embark on your new mission, let us ascend to the top of the great mountain. You will need to learn your new responsibilities and learn to use your new powers. Oh, great Kachina spirits, we are coming to join you! <laughs> 